Welcome to the Drunken Progressive. I'm your host, Jason W. Shaver. Uh, saw this video. I wanted to play it for you and then comment on it. Uh, there's a black mom and her son at a fancy restaurant. And they're not allowed to eat there because the kid is wearing a Michael Jordan t-shirt and, like, basketball shorts. So it's like, okay, there's a dress code, whatever. But, hold up, pan over to whatever direction that is. Or maybe it's this way. I forgot. But there's a little white kid wearing pretty much the same outfit. And they were allowed to fucking eat there. So I'm going to play the video. I don't know if I'm going to play the whole video, but it's a couple minutes long. I might just play a minute. You get the point. <sighs> Yay, America. Fuck yeah. Uh. Someone's already explained it to you. Okay, tell it to me again. You telling me we cannot eat here? So un unfortunately, we do have a dress code. Um, if you, you know, if you have some non-athletic shorts. But that white kid out there can eat here with his tennis shoes on and his athletic shirt. So we, we allow tennis shoes, but not not athletic shorts and t-shirts. He has one. At, you you telling me that's not an athletic shirt? Not that one. But you telling me that little boy who just ate here. Does not have on an athletic shirt. I'm sorry. I would, sure. love, I would love for you to be able to come back and eat here. So you telling me my son can't eat here because he has on athletic stuff? No, no, just the shorts. I just, it is, it is part of our dress code. We try to. So it's it. only his shorts. Only the shorts can't be athletic. The shorts and the t-shirt. Yeah. But the little boy has on an athletic. The little white kid that just sat out there has on an athletic, athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt. I, I understand that you're upset. If there's a no, it's not that I'm upset. The little boy out there had on athletic. You telling me it's no athletic weight? The little boy out there had on athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt. So why does he get to wear athletic wear and my son can't? I, I again, I would love for you to be able to come back. Are you? Do you live close enough for your son to change? No, I don't. I just want to know why it's different for my son. I, I understand how you feel. I, I, I don't want you to sympathize with me. I just want you to tell me why it's different from my son. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just asking you why it's different from my son. I understand. Then that little kid that was out there with athletic tennis shoes and... We, the t-shirt that the little kid was wearing, we don't consider that to be athletic t-shirt. Why? I, honestly, I did not get a good look, but it, it looked like a regular t-shirt. I have a video. Do you want to see it? If you would like to show it to me, I'm happy to look, but I... I, I, I do have to... <clears throat> Alright, like, that's... Pretty fucked up. The, uh... The waiter kept dodging the question like she's flat out asked him like hey how come this and he's like i understand no i don't she didn't want him to understand she wanted a fucking answer anyway uh that guy looks like a paul looks like a, just a dipshit named paul <coughs> fuck paul all the pauls man i'm a gassy little princess all right so <sighs> I was raised by people that just, they fucking just watched Fox News religiously. So growing up in the 80s and 90s, I know Fox News wasn't until the mid 90s, but gro growing up in that environment, I kind of was under the impression that like black people were just whiners because they wanted free stuff and they, you know, when they couldn't get their way. And then now that now that I'm an adult and like every day we're seeing like the shit they were complaining about the the shit they were telling us about years ago was it <clears throat> it's true it's like Will Smith said racism didn't he said something you should look it up he's a cool dude no he said racism's always existed it's just getting recorded now so it's like I'm that's one thing I like about us all having cell phones and shit, like, we're seeing things that, it kind of just makes you question, like, all the shit bad people were getting away with back in the 70s and 80s and 60s and 50s and all the way back through time, like, <clears throat> all the people, even, like, cops, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, 
ah, it's, it's fucked up. I'm glad, I'm glad this stuff's getting some attention, because everyone needs to know racism is real, and you might not be racist, but you, when you bite your tongue when other people are being racist, you're you're making them think that it's okay. Like it, it's like they you make them feel like you agree with them when you're just like, <laughs> and in your head you're like, you're a fucking idiot. I hope you get hit by a tractor or a small dog on a tractor. I don't fucking know. I'm drunk, but this this shit bothers me, and Paul should have just. Be honest with your racism, or shut the fuck up. Don't make excuses. Own it. Because if you're not owning your racism, why is that? Are you ashamed of it? Why are you ashamed of it? Do you know it's wrong? Then why do you still fucking feel that way? If you know it's fucking wrong. I'm getting hot and bothered. I'm too fat. My blood pressure's fucking boiling. I'm gonna slam this. No, I'm not. I'll probably throw up. I'm doing it. Nah, I'm gonna throw up. Plus, this tastes like shit. Goodbye!